just want to show a quick uh, example of what I've done. I'm creating this for a larger robot, and as I uh, was not able to get any of the continuous rotation servos this weekend, I decided to work on the sensors. Now, the general design of this is going to be a uh, light following robot. Uh, I want to have a couple other sensors on it as well, like uh, some bump sensors in the front, so if it hits a wall, it'll turn around. Um, also, kind of uh, adding different elements besides LEDs to indicate status, uh, such as this piezo um, element. And what I wanted to do is when a light sensing robot comes to an area where it, it reaches a value that's higher than, I guess, the threshold that I set for the max light value, uh, I'd like it to kind of play a noise. Now, since I don't have a lot of school spirit, I decided that I'm going to actually play the UNT fight song uh, when it turns off, or when it when it goes under um, quite a bit of light. So I'm going to demonstrate this now using um, just a light source uh, hooked up you know, right against the photoresistor. So as you can see, when it... Uh, it's it's pretty. I have my light on in my room right now, so there's a lot of ambient light. But uh, when I hold a flashlight right above it, uh, it goes past that threshold and it'll play a small song. So that'll get annoying real fast if it just stays in the light. So I plan on only having it play once and then it's pretty much going off and searching again for the light. Uh, but as you can see, I got this photo resistor and a 10k pull down resistor uh, hooked up in series and I'm using that as a voltage divider and as the photo resistor, as it gets darker uh, the resistance of the photo resistor increases um, which makes the voltage across the pull down resistor a lot less uh, and vice versa when it's light and so that's hooked up into the analog um, input pin on the Arduino and it's reading it at 10 bits and I just converted that uh, down to 8 bits to make it easier to read. Uh, what this will eventually control is the differential drive on the robot and uh, hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate and show that soon. Thanks.